Hey everyone, it's Drake, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Forge Lexicon and how to switch ores and other things back and forth so they can be stored or processed very easily. So, to get started, uh, we are going to learn how to craft the Forge Lexicon and also the, uh, what's that called? The Mystical Plinth. So, the Forge Lexicon allows you to change items back and forth. Uh, between different item values of the same type. I don't know how to explain that, but uh, of course if you play Feed the Beast you know there's more than one type of copper unless it's disabled, and if you decide to get the other type of copper it won't get stored together in the barrel. So say I have this type of copper and you have that kind of copper in a barrel, you can't put it in because it's a different data value. Same for this and for that. So, say I want to change that. I'm going to craft a Forge Lexicon, which is a book, gold ingot, iron ingot, and cyan wool. Now, I already have one down here. Now, I'm going to put this Forge Lexicon onto a stand, which is the Mystical Plinth, and that's with three obsidian, two gold, and one cyan wool. So, I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to place it down right here, and then I'm going to throw the Forge Lexicon on top, and... Bam. We now have the Forge Lexicon book stand thing. So now I can change things back and forth. So say I want to make this ruby ore into the right, ty right type of ruby ore. So I can just change it up here, click the little button, and bam. Now I can store this in the barrel. Uh, now I'm going to do this with the rest of the stuff. Hmm, I think it's this one. And copper, change this ruby over so it can be stored. Oh, this one's disabled, so I can't do it. Uh, what kind of tin did I have? Okay, I believe it's this one, and copper to this kind of copper. And now I can go throw the stuff in the barrels. Oh, it isn't that kind of copper. Let's see. There, I think that's it. There we go. And this ruby can't be converted because some are disabled in the config, and that's for balance issues with between the two mods, or two different mods. And uh, I think that's it for this uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and uh, have a nice day.